of, of Tottenham, the, that memory, that feeling that was passed down from generation to generation that the police are not for us. And as we've seen with events this year, there's a, being a sense that events such as the student protests and the hostility between young people and the police then, Smiley Culture, Kingsley Burrell, there is a sense that the police are not for us. And that has manifested even more so in 2011. And as we saw now, the trigger was a young man being killed arguably from point blank couldn't some witnesses now this is the context from that last night was born from this context must not be forgotten Ms. Pennell, that's that's subject to a police an ipcc investigation at the moment but what, what are your feelings towards the investigation what i'm hoping for is i'm, I'm really hoping for some some truth and some honest some honest answers we want to see transparency and we want to see accountability and i think something that that comes out of of last what do you think the police can realistically do then? How, how do they rebuild these relationships? The irony is, is that we do have institutions that do this. The Harringay Community and Police Consultative Group is an institution that has been trying to build better relations between young people and the police for years, but they've just had a large amount of their core funding pulled. So there is actually a wider narrative to this, that the institutions and the groups that try and create that community spirit between the authorities and the community, they're suffering right now, and this also must not be forgotten. Can you tell us, uh, or shed any light on, on what sparked this like yesterday? Because we understand that there must have been something that turned this from a peaceful protest in, into what we saw at the end of the day, and there are various different theories uh, banding about on the internet. Do, do you know, have any uh, more information I'm, on this? I'm glad that you conceded that it did start off as a peaceful protest, and it has been a part of a wider movement of peaceful protests calling for democratic accountability and transparency by the police. Now, last night, according to reports that I've heard, this started when a young woman was battened by the police for no reason. Now, I cannot verify that, but that seems to be the trigger, certainly on the street. Okay, Simeon, thank you very much. So, uh,